Hi everyone, it's Nat. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited today because I'm gonna make a tag. It was made first by uh, Katie Flowers and um, I'm following up. My friend Claire de la Lune uh, did it uh, as well in English and she's gonna do it in French. So I'm gonna try to do it in English and in French too. And uh, today it's in English, of course. And I'm gonna share with you my oldies but goodies decks. So I have a bunch of them. Um, I picked the one, um, the most important ones to me. Uh, the precious ones and the, the ones I will never um, trade or, or sell or whatever because I, I love them so much. Even if I don't use them every day, um, I'm very happy to, to show them to you. So stay tuned. I'm gonna just uh, turn the camera so that you can see them properly. So let's start with the first deck I want to show you while it's raining cats and dogs over here. To today it's very bad, it's pouring and uh, I don't know, yesterday it was beautiful and today it's just very, very ugly. But I guess that earth needs water, so I'm very happy anyways. <laughs> so the first one is the Oracle of the Triad by Gange Editions and made by Dominique Duplat. Um, so the name of the cards are in French, but the guidebook is also in English. You have both of languages. Uh, so why I love this deck? Um, I haven't used this deck for a while, but uh, this video made me realize how much I, I, I love this deck. So this is the backings. I love it very much. The blue color is very beautiful. And it's like golden over here. So it's a deck full of symbology. And um, I think I should get the book because I only have the, the little book. I've always worked with the, the guidebook, the little white guidebook. And the book, the, the big book, uh, is probably very interesting. And um, I think I'm going to get back to this deck because I love it. I love the imagery. I love the things that... You know that all the symbols and everything, it's so, um, I don't know, it talks to the soul, you know. Um, I'm loving it very much. I haven't used it for a while. I mean, for years. Uh, I used to work with this deck almost every day when I was uh, much younger. I got this deck in 1998, I think. And uh, I don't know why I stopped, because I, I got more decks and more and more in my collections. And I almost forget this one, but when I see it, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to get back to it very soon because it's um, a very, very uh, interesting deck. It's very accurate. It's um, full of symbology, as I told you. You, you can see different things in the cards. So yeah, a very beautiful deck. Even if it has a dark side, it's not all dark to me. And um, it always, uh, you, you, you always find the light in the dark with this deck. So yeah, I really, really love it. So this was the first one. Number two is also an Oracle deck. Uh, see, this one is uh, kind of, uh, how can I say that, <laughs> ruined. Some, some, the, the box is not uh, in a very good shape now. It's old. So it's uh, Le Grand Jeu Divinatoire du Cristal. It's um, a divination deck about crystals. So this is in French only. And um, I like this deck. Uh, I used to work with it uh, a lot. I don't now, but it's the same thing as La Triade. I think I'm going to get back to this deck because it's uh, about crystals. It's about about chakras. Everything that uh, I, um, I speak about, I work with every day. So very interesting to me. Earth. Very good. Uh, very beautiful imagery. Very, very, very beautiful. See? The children snake horse abundance so 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 beautiful so i think i'm gonna keep it near and uh, 
maybe work with it again. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Uh, now we're gonna... We're gonna talk about my first tarot deck. <laughs> Not in a good shape either. Le Tarot Toth, the Toth Tarot by Alistair Crowley. Uh, my sister gifted to me uh, when I was uh, 15 or 12, 12 something, teenager. Um, I think it was 12, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I used this uh, deck a lot. I, I, I know I didn't use it probably in the proper way because I was much younger and uh, I... So I love this deck even if I don't use it now. Uh, I probably will again because uh, I really love the imagery. I'm very connected to its energy. I really love it even if I'm not... Um, if I don't know everything about the Toth system I want to learn more about it and I think that someday soon I will probably uh, read the, the Toth book and work with this deck again. Uh, I mostly used it with my intuition till now and um, I haven't been using it for like, I don't know, years. Uh, except once uh, someone asked me um, a reading with it, so I did. And uh, it was a pretty, very interesting moment, very, very good moment, um, very good reading. So, yeah, I think I will be back to it too, but uh, all these goodies, it's one of them, of, of sure, for, for sure, sorry. <laughs> My English is kind of uh, not very good today, I'm tired, I went to bed very late and... Um, I can feel it today. Anyways, <laughs> I'm happy to, to do this video. Uh, the other one is the Aquarian Tarot. Uh, this one, I remember I got it myself when I was uh, 15 uh, with my, my savings. <laughs> uh, I love the backings of this deck. I think it's very beautiful. I don't use it, um, I used to, but I don't know why I, I stopped someday and um, I'm not sure I will be back to it, but I'm gonna keep it, I'm sure of that. I love it too much to sell it or trade it, I love the imagery, it's uh, very sweet, like very soft, you know, the colors, um, you have bright colors, you have pastel colors. I love the, the people, the faces, um, yeah, it has something, you know, that um, made me um, say that I will keep it, I will keep it and we, we never know, maybe I will use it someday, but for now it's just a, a deck of my collection and uh, I'm glad I have it, it's very beautiful, but I don't know why I, I don't use it, because it's very pretty. Um, the other one I want to show you, it's a French, is a French oracle, l'oracle parfum de vie, um, the, uh, from, um, made by, sorry, uh, Pierre Jonas, and published by Grimaud, so this is all in French. Um, if you like mangas, you know, uh, Japanese illustrations, maybe you will be attracted to this deck. So this is the backing, very beautiful, very bright colors. This is the presentation card and this is the deck. So it's very, very special. Um, a very special imagery, you have a big border, uh, but I like it and I will never sell it or trade it. I love it too much. It's it's one of my precious decks. I know it's out of print. Lots of people want to buy this deck. It's very hard to find or it's very, very expensive. Uh, I think um, last time I saw it, it was on eBay and it was over $300. So it's just crazy. 
um, very crazy because um, it was a deck. Uh, it was uh, a deck, very very cheap deck when I got it. I don't remember the price. Something like um, less than twenty bucks. So yeah very beautiful colors i like it i don't use it that much but uh sometimes i like to do readings with it it's a cool deck uh very accurate very 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 accurate uh, very beautiful i like the quality of the cards i like the the size uh you know they're kind of long and uh, not that large so it's a uh, different from other decks yeah, very, very beautiful deck too. So I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I tried to make not a too long video. Uh, so the next one is the Golden Rider Tarot. One of my favorite Rider Waits. It's not my favorite, but it's one of my favorite. So this is a very old deck, as you can see. It's the book is yellow <laughs> and um, I don't know, I, I missed up this deck a bit because I wanted to, you know, it is. It, it was the golden tarot, so I wanted to gold the ages, so I did, but I didn't do it with the right uh, pen, uh, the right stamp and um, I kind of miss it up, but it has a style now its own style so it's not that bad anyways you know it looks good with the, the ages the ages so this is the year of end. so it's in French I don't remember if it's all in French yep the book is all in French I have no idea if this deck is in English too um, the hangman Three of Swords. It's very beautiful. I like the the imagery, the paintings. So the the funny things is, is the funny thing is that um, the names of the cards are the names of the Tower de Marseille. For example, it's not the Tower, La Tour, but La Maison de Dieu. So that's the funniest thing because it's a rider weight. It's not a Marseille deck. It's a rider weight. The Empress, the Chariot, very beautiful, Two of Wands. I love the color palette. Uh, that's why I love this deck, for the color palette. And I like the way uh, the artist redesigned designed the, um, the card. It's a bit um, more modern than the Rider Waite, you know. It's uh, like a kind of modern ver version of it. And I love it. Beautiful. Very beautiful. All of them. The colors are absolutely stunning. It's a gorgeous deck. And it's a, a deck with... Um, I, I like to read with very much. Uh, the next one is the Guild Tarot. One of my favorite tarot deck ever, ever, ever. So, I'm going to show you some of the cards. So, what I like about this deck, of course, the symbols. Lots of symbols in this deck, too. Uh, very beautiful cards. Look at this one, for example, or this one. To me, it's one of the most fabulous uh, deck that I have. Uh, I love so much reading with this deck. Um, yeah, it's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Sadly, it's out of print, so it's very expensive, of course, if you want to to buy it. Uh, I used to have another one, but uh, I uh, sold it. I decided um, to, to sell it for a correct price to someone who is a tarot collector as, a, as I am and um, he was very happy and I was very happy for him and I have one so I'm happy and this is uh, this is my deck and yeah 
very beautiful very 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 beautiful look at that so so gorgeous gorgeous so the next one guys is the medicine woman tarot deck by carol bridges this one i love the the imagery i love um The story of this deck, you know, uh, to me, every card has a story. I don't know how to say that. This is the backing. It's so beautiful. Uh, it has, of course, a um, Native American feel, but not only. It's very earthy. It's a very earthy deck, and that's what I like. See? Very beautiful. Um... It's a peaceful deck. Uh, I don't know how to say that. I love it. I really do. Uh, yeah, very earthy. That's the first word that came to mind. Um, close to close to nature and a very yeah nature feel. like ancestral feel too i don't know so beautiful i don't have the big book i only have the the little white book but i think that someday i'm gonna try to get the book as well because i'm sure it's very interesting yeah very beautiful so this one was back in order because i wanted to do a, a video about it and I think I will do a review very soon. Next one is the Kitty Kahane Tarot. And it's uh, also an out of print deck. I got the German version because I couldn't find the English version of it. And uh, I got it in German, no problem. So beautiful anyways. So this is in order too because I wanted to make a video about it. I just don't find time to do all my videos and um, yeah I like the colors um, it's kind of a quirky deck you know uh, whimsical I don't know um, different it's a right away but it's different the, the imagery is uh, more whimsical magical uh, funny um, and I love it. I really, really do. I love to do readings with it. Uh, it's a very, 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 very cool deck in readings. Very beautiful. Yeah, I love the colors. The colors are so beautiful. Look at the backings. So, so gorgeous. And I love the blues, the, the greens, the, the pinks. Very beautiful. Purples. It's a very nice color palette. Uh, what else? Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, this one. The Rune Vision Cards by Sylvia Ginsford and Howard Roadway, published by AGM. So same thing, it's a deck uh, out of print now. It's out of print. And um, I got this deck in 28, 2008. Uh, yeah, I think I did. I forgot about this deck. I'm very ashamed to say that to you because uh, a while ago, um, one of uh, the YouTubers I'm, I'm, I'm following uh, made a video about this deck. And uh, I think I, I left a comment on his channel saying, wow, this is a beautiful deck and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and um, I was cleaning up my drawers and um, guess what? This deck was just um, in my drawer, one of my drawers. So I was like, oh my God, <laughs> okay, never mind. I totally forget about it. I don't know why. Um, it's a deck I haven't used that much. And um, I probably get it, opened it, 
uh, looked at the beautiful imagery and that's it. Uh, and now um, I want to learn more about the runes. So um, it's near me on my desk and uh, yeah, I'm going to start working with it more seriously now. Uh, but it was uh, funny because I have I, I totally forgot about this deck. It's uh, it's very it, it doesn't happen a lot to me, but uh, yeah, for this one I had no idea I have this deck. So very funny. So um, the thing is, some people don't like it because of the nudity of the characters. Uh, it doesn't bother me. It's very artistic, very beautiful to me. So yeah, a very, very beautiful deck. And you also have the blank rune. And this is the, the backings. I'm not a big fan of the backing. Uh, I would have preferred something. I, I That's probably why I totally forgot about this deck because I'm not a big fan of the backings. But uh, it's okay now, you know, the imagery is so beautiful. So I, I, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> uh, the next one is the Masonic Tarot by Jean Bouchard. Uh, so I don't use it now. I used to, but I don't use it. I haven't been use it for like a very, very, very long time. I think I got this deck maybe 20 years ago or something. And um, the backings, it's beautiful. I love the, the illustrations. I love the colors. Um, I love the, the energy of the deck. I also have a book about it. Uh, but now I just uh, don't connect to it. And I just keep it in my collection, you know, for the beauty of the imagery, for its beautiful energy. And that's it. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it again, but I'm very glad I have it. It's beautiful, uh, colorful. Yeah, so beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. One of the best I have in my collection. One of the most beautiful. That's what I think. Really nice. Uh, the other one I want to share with you, it's The Love Tarot by Sarah Bartlett, illustrated by Nancy Tolford. So it's a collage deck. Um, I got this deck a while ago. Uh, I got it in a trade, I think, if I remember well. And uh, it has a very nice guidebook. It's, about, it's all about um, love, romance and sex. So... <laughs> It's a, a cool deck to use for love readings or relationship readings. I love it. I think the imagery is just beautiful. I love um, how the, the, the college um, and the, the, the pictures, the paintings were associated. It's very cool, very lovely. <laughs> I love the death card. So, the Empress, she's so beautiful, so generous, so earthy, very nice, the devil. So yeah, one of, uh, of my favorite deck uh, to do readings, love readings, but it, it's too bad it only has 22 majors. I wish it, it could be a full deck, but I love it anyways, and I use it once in a while. And I think I'm, I'm almost done. Uh, the last one is the Osho Zen Tarot. I love this tarot deck. It's uh, stunning. It has so, so, so good advices to move on, to move forward in your life. This is like a coach to me. And uh, when I'm lost, when I have questions that I can uh, answer to, I'm, I'm glad uh, to do readings with this one. I only use this one for me or 
for a few people of uh, my family or close friends but that's all it's a very special deck to me so i got the the box set version i don't know if it still exists i have no idea and this is the french version so this is the backing very colorful very, very beautiful and uh, this is the, the card i love this one so beautiful it's a peaceful deck you know um, when something is bothering you and um, you don't feel well that's the good deck to use that's the perfect deck because oh my god it's so deep so powerful as well and um, I told you it's like a coach to me when I need coaching I use this deck I always do nice colors I love the, the imagery it's very beautiful first uh, when I get this deck when I got this deck I didn't like the the border I didn't like you know I I, I was like oh it's too bad because it ru it ruins the imagery and uh, I don't like it but you know what this deck is so awesome um, I just don't care now I just don't even see the border now and um, yeah it's perfect the way it is the thing is the cards are thin I wish they could be thicker to last longer but it's okay <laughs> It's okay, very nice one. I love it. Love, love, love. Beautiful. Yeah, so I think I'm done. I'm looking at my table. Yeah. I'm done, you guys. So I hope you had a great moment uh, watching these decks with me. And uh, I will be back with another video in English very soon. You guys take care. Love you. Bye.